So show y'all. <clears throat> hey, uh, hey, some pretty good timber on this on this sale. Uh, I mean, they some, they some hammers in here. Bunch of big white oak. Some pretty good poplar and stuff. But uh, it's a it's a pretty strong sale. Uh, 16 each at the stump and then the trees with orange paint gets left uh, it's, a, it's a strong stand of timber I mean that's kind of I mean that's kind of what we're what we're looking at that big white oak here well, that's a double double fork thing so it ain't that good anyway but yeah I mean a lot of these trees that's about what you're looking at right there uh, they some sections that's a little bit smaller, but they're tall and good logs. So uh, right there goes a hammer right there. He down in there cutting that little ravine. It's you can't tell, but that's pretty dang steep off in this little. Old. They some of these sections are steep, but the. The steep sections in these ravines got the taller timber in them, so. That's kind of what we're looking at. I was telling y'all it's a good stand of timber. Uh, pretty dang good job, really. I'm, I'm tickled with it. We'll see what we got here. Well, them old school 372s there. <clears throat> it's been warmed over just a little bit. Uh, not as much as some of the other ones we've got. About all of them's been, had some work. Some of them's had a lot of work, but that one runs all right though. <laughs> my dad down there cutting he's 63 64 something like that <clears throat> he's still handcuffed pretty good for his age and his health so they some they some dandy timber here I mean, very strong stand. You can see way over there, big, massive oaks. I was happy to get it. So that's a steep little old gully ravine type deal down in there.
Oh, that made a mess. Looks like it pushed one over there. I get it out with old dozer, I guess. See the old bell sitting up there. Old tree farmer Franklin hidden in the bushes there camouflaged. So that's pretty dang steep. I'm gonna try to grapple some of these up out of here though. Good and dry. I'll take grapple skidding over cable pulling any day. Dang mosquitoes carry slap off. Well guys, sorry about the end of that last video pretty quick there. Uh, I cut off that tree set back. I jumped on the dozer and went down there and pushed it off there for him. But uh, I was skidding here this morning, coming around the edge of this field. I thought I'd show y'all kind of what, how beautiful it is here. Uh, just a minute. You can look down through there. This is where we're skidding around the edge of this field, but I mean, this old house down there, way down there, I think that was this fella's granddad's house where he was raised in it or something. It's a big farm, I guess his granddad did or whatever. Uh, but I mean, it is just gorgeous. It borders the lake down there on the father's edge. Uh, deer, turkey, wild hog. I mean, it's it's just the prettiest place I think I've ever seen. But I thought I'd show y'all that. Like I say, I'm just coming up around the edge of the field here. I thought y'all enjoy that. I <clears throat> I do. I think that I mean, it don't get much prettier. I'll tell you that right now. But I got a. Uh, Got a couple trucks should be showed up here about a minute. I'm gonna throw some wood on them and get them headed down the road before this rain hits. Got one of each kind today. Triaxle tractor. Quad axle straight truck and the pup. Big Daddy Caleb coming in hot. <laughs> Flipping me off even. So like trying to beat the rain here. It's supposed to be some severe thunderstorms after a while.
Well, guys, we got those uh, two trucks loaded and out of here. Uh, pulled a little bit, finished up a couple loads or something. I think I'm going to go ahead and head on out of here in just a little bit. We tore the tore the muffler cover off the my little bell cutter. And uh, that leaves the muffler where you can tear it off and or get some dry debris in there and have a fire pretty easily. So I'm going to take it and we'll straighten it out, weld the tabs back on it so we can get that repaired. Um, we dodged the bullet on the rain, it looks like. Uh, so I think we've been in pretty good shape. Uh, get that thing fixed and straightened out. Bring it back and put it on the morning. Work tomorrow. Uh, fortunately, I've got, I don't know, four loads or something stacked up again already. So if we work tomorrow, it'll give me a good, good head start. I think it'll be two trucks here again Monday. Uh, do all right for this little operation. I mean, like I say, we, we're not a... We're not a... <laughs> a big producer or got nice equipment or new equipment i mean pretty much we're like a lot of a lot of small time loggers you fix your junk and make things work the best you can duct tape bailing wire super glue whatever you got you make it work and keep keep your deal going trucks got slick tires on them you know how it is uh you're just trying to get by you know what i mean uh so i hope i speak for a lot of the small time loggers out there you know that's like us or whatever so i mean uh if you don't care if you like it you know subscribe whatever hopefully grow this little deal i mean if i could get to 100 subscribers it'd be freaking awesome but uh, anyway hopefully you guys have a nice weekend i'm sure if you're a logger like us you probably will not be in the woods tomorrow but uh that still could be a nice weekend so y'all have a good one and i'm gonna head on out we'll see you